What's up guys, Brad here, and I want to drop in real fast and talk about this, an actual uh, piece of good news coming from Fortnite. That's kind of rare these days, outside of just talking about gameplay and lore and stuff. But it appears that battle passes will no longer be exclusive, or at least the items in them won't. Uh, let's read this. It says, change to item exclusivity in future Fortnite battle passes from the Fortnite team as of yesterday. Uh, August 7th, 2024. Items in future Fortnite Battle Passes might be offered for purchase in the Fortnite shop after 18 or more months from the Battle Passes expiration. Battle Pass item may include a different number of its alt styles each time it comes to the shop. This change lets us continue investing in new and exciting Battle Pass rewards while enabling players down the road to also enjoy the content, including outfits based on popular licensed characters. Uh, licensed characters. Battle Pass benefits stay the same. Pages of unlockable rewards you can use across one or more Fortnite experiences. You'll still be able to progress in the Battle Pass by playing any experience that grants XP. So, no more will outfits, back blings, emotes, whatever... No more will those be locked forever in expired battle passes never to be seen again. I think this is actually a really good move and something that I've said before. Like, just th the very idea of digital exclusivity and limited time sales for items that do not physically exist is dumb. Why would you do that to yourself? I said this when... Nintendo pulled uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars off of its eShop. You're just cutting into your own profit at that point. Like, there's no reason to do that. Because there are, gonna, there are definitely going to be people who want to buy this game that in that time period can't get it, but otherwise would get it at a later time. You're just cutting them off. For no reason. That's money you're leaving on the table. And I think at this point they see that there are characters that they've had as collabs that people want and would like and that may have they may have missed it. Like as we've seen, a lot of people like were were happy with the recent Deadpool skin that got released in the item shop, but some people had preferred it not be cell shaded. They wanted the original Deadpool skin, which came out in the game four years ago. So a lot of people missed out on the first Deadpool skin. Not to mention all of the others, like the Superman skin from the invasion season. It also had Rick from Rick and Morty in there. Uh there was an attack on Titan skin in one battle pass. Uh, Doom guy. The guy from uh, uh, The Witcher. Um, Gwenpool. Whatever her name is. Uh, not Gwenpool. God. Uh, Spider Gwen. Gwen Stacy. I think. Isn't that her name? Uh, Spider Gwen. We'll just call her Spider Gwen. Ghost Spider, I think, is her actual, like, superhero name. But, uh... A lot of those characters, even Magneto, Korra, there's so many characters that they got the rights to put in their battle passes that people will have missed out on and want to see again at some point. This will allow them, and by the way, this is going to be them selling in the bat, in the uh, in the shop, and they're going to cost way more than the battle pass. Now, the thing that gets me about this whole situation is. The people I've seen on social media, on Twitter, complaining that, oh, my skin's not going to be exclusive anymore. I'm like, what? Like, did you really care about that? Is having a skin, and it'd be like, oh, well, this lets people know I've been playing for so long. I'm like, who cares? <laughs> who really cares? Why does that matter? Why? That'd be like saying, like, oh, look, I, I have a Nintendo. I have an old NES system, an old Famicom. And I should only be, the, I should be the one who gets to play all these old games. You don't, you shouldn't get to play these old games on the Nintendo Switch because you missed out. You should have been born sooner or you should have had the money earlier. You shouldn't get to play all these games from the NES. 
See how stupid that sounds? Locking characters behind a battle pass is just that whole fear of missing out thing monetized. And let's not pretend like Fortnite hasn't gotten in hot water over how it operates its item shop before. It cost them some money doing that too. So I'm actually glad to see this. This is something I've said in the past that should happen. And like I would like to get the original Peely skin. There are some other skins that I missed out on because I didn't play at all during Chapter 1 and I missed out on that first season of Chapter 2. And I saw people saying, well, well, what's the point of having a battle pass if the skins aren't exclusive? I'm like, one, you're getting eight skins for less than the price of what one usually goes for. Like the cheapest skin, the common skins in the shop are 800 V-Bucks. The entire battle pass is 950. And you get back 150 V, uh, uh, no, you get back 1500 V-Bucks for playing through the battle pass. So yeah, there is a reason to still get the battle pass if you play this game and often enough. If you actually intend to progress through the battle pass just by playing it, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't get the pass if you're intending to buy levels unless you just have plenty of money to throw away for that. But uh But as long I think as long as the battle passes are largely still focused on the story of that season. The way it's been being for the past few seasons. Then I say that that's a great idea. The battle passes should be skins that are heavily involved in whatever part of the story that's being told that season. Just like we've got in the current season. You've got the machinist. You've got uh, Peabody doing stuff. you got a... Uh, uh, Megalodon, who's the boss of the season, the main villain of the season. And you're going to have the collab skins. Like, Magneto is involved in the story. So, as long as the characters are important to the story, they should be in the battle pass. Maybe you can have a, th a throw, uh, just a throwaway skin in there if you want. But, I think battle passes should be storyline heavy. That should be what they are. Throw in one collab, or I, sometimes they throw in two collabs, and then maybe one gag character, just one random character, just for like, oh, here's, an, here's a remix of an old skin that maybe you guys really, really liked. But that's my opinion. I it, like uh, Otherwise, I don't know why you would even do the battle pass. Like, uh, if it's just random skins, like that I don't get. If there are skins in the story, if there are characters in the story that are important, they should be in the battle pass. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about is I just think, I think this is a really good idea that it says, uh, and the, this article here from Fortnite uh, goes over the different rules and stuff. It basically just says that anything that's a part of the battle pass has the potential to return into a, uh, the item shop after 18 months. I think that's fair to, you know, so that people who buy the Battle Pass will have it exclusive for a year and a half. That's, I mean, that's a long time between the, the time that a season is relevant and then these uh, skins and items are repackaged to be sold uh, individually. So you're better off to get the Battle, uh, the battle Pass where you'll get all the stuff for what just over the price of a common skin <laughs> in the item shop, it's still a good deal, really good deal. But um, yeah, and it just that's basically all it says is that yes, licensed content, uh, battle pro uh, battle pass is not going up in price. Uh, this doesn't include Lego styles for stuff, so. But, uh, but yeah, this is good. 
I see some people were saying that it is not going to. It says future Fortnite battle passes might be offered, but uh, I could see them later bringing this back for older battle passes because some of Fortnite's most popular characters and most beloved characters are old battle pass skins that have from long ago. Like I brought up Peely. I don't have Peely. Well, what about uh, Midas, the original Midas skin? Or any of those old uh, Shadow versus Ghost skins? I'm sure a lot of people would like to have those if they missed out on that because of how important Midas became to the story. Or the Agent Jones skin. I know he's not in that anymore. He's become... Uh, What's his, what's his new skin's name? Underground Jones or something? Vengeance Jones, that's what it's called. Uh, that's the version of him we've had this whole chapter. Uh, Dr. Sloan. The original Dr. Sloan skin. The Cube Queen. Or some of those members of the Seven. Should they ever decide to revisit those stories? I mean, I feel like Dr. Sloan will probably be back at some point. If Jones is back, I mean... But anyway, I, some of these characters, like Midas came back uh, last season. Surely people want that. But um, yeah, this w- and this would be a way to keep uh, to make older characters relevant again. Like if they wanted to bring back and explore the story of Singularity again. And find out what was up with her. Because everybody, because remember the story originally seemed to be hinting that the Paradigm and Singularity were the same character. Because their outfits were so similar. But then, Fortnite decided that they wanted Brie Larson to be the paradigm. And they kind of retconned some stuff. And and officially, they've said that the Singularity Paradigm comparisons were an intentional misdirection. That ain't true. They got Brie Larson and they wanted to put her in the game. I mean, just be honest. Just be like, eh, we wanted to make her this important character. The same way that we wanted to make uh, Dwayne Johnson the foundation. That's all that was. You don't have to make up a story about how you were intentionally misdirecting us the whole time. But anyway. uh, So I say thumbs up here. A good move to give everybody the chance to get skins that they may have missed out on. Either because they just weren't playing the game at the time, or maybe they couldn't afford to get Battle Pass or whatever at the time. Gives everybody a chance to miss the, like, like, uh, and I'm guessing part of it, because, like, the story was, bringing about the Paradigm, the Paradigm accidentally ended up in the item shop, and people rushed to buy it. Then Fortnite announced, well, this wasn't supposed to be in the item shop, so we're going to take it out of your lockers, and we'll refund you the money. And... I don't know if this was after or before Donald Mustard responded to a tweet from uh, Tim Sweeney on Twitter where Tim was talking about his favorite tabs to to look at on Twitter in what particular order. And he mentioned like the first, the second, or third. Or he mentioned like highlights of each one or whatever. And then Donald Mustard responded with, I think I prefer the fourth one. And I think that's the one that you should really be listening to. It's the community tab. So, in other words, he's telling them, maybe you should listen to your player base and give them what they want. They want some of these old skins that they missed out on back. They don't like, the, they don't overwhelm, overwhelmingly people don't like the idea of exclusive content based on time. But, um, it, but then it, whether that was before or after, Fortnite reversed their decision. And decided to let people keep the paradigm who bought her in the shop. And not only that, but they I think they also refunded the money anyway. So you got a free you got the paradigm for free, if I'm not mistaken. But uh so there you go. I don't know if this was an intentional sort of test to drop a, a, an exclusive skin like that and then see how people reacted. Uh, and then they followed up with this by saying like, hey, you know what? People will throw money at us if they get a Battle Pass skin that they did not have. And we'll sell a lot of them. So let's do that. I say good. And hopefully where it says future Battle Passes, 
Uh, this will apply to future battle passes. Hopefully it applies to the older ones too. A lot of those old battle passes have been gone for a lot longer than 18 months already. So who knows? Maybe you'll see the original Deadpool and Midas skins in the game soon. I don't know. Maybe that'll be after the new season starts. We'll talk about that uh, in my season review, which is coming up soon. So uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. Appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good move? Do you think that the Battle Pass items should stay exclusive? Personally, I say good move and that exclusivity, uh, exclusivity is just, for digital stuff, is just a dumb thing to think about. But anyway, uh, that's all I got. I'm out of here.